How does your garden grow is the question posed by an age-old nursery rhyme. Tony DeCopel has our most unusual answer. Every great summer garden really begins in the winter. Johnny jump ups. With a ritual of seeds and shovels. But these gardeners Volunteers at the Woodlands, a 54-acre oasis in West Philadelphia, have an extra challenge each year. Joe is on hand today to help people find their grave. <laughs> is there anybody that has not found their grave that needs that assistance? Okay, I thought there would be. Yes, the Woodlands is a mid-19th century cemetery, which means it dates to a time when, believe it or not, graves were designed to be planters and many Americans liked the idea of eternal rest under a bed of roses. There would have been flowers virtually everywhere, roses, climbing vines. Families basically would come and they would treat their family's lot as a garden space. Um, and you would bring your living family to sit here and garden and mm -hmm. picnic yep. with the family no longer here. Yep. So it's kind of a reunion. Yep. These are those wild violets. Yeah. Executive Director Jessica Bomber says the grounds once contained more than 300 tombs in the French style, as they were known. Each one a scene of cultivation. It was in the 19th century when gardening became a hobby activity for people. But over the years, as families moved away, the weeds moved in. That is, until two years ago when Bommert put out a modest call for 25 volunteers. She got 75 instead. Thank you guys for coming. And this year, with help from a grant, she expanded to 130 self-described grave gardeners. Gardeners like literature professor Elizabeth Womack. How did it feel the first time you put your hands in the soil? Oh, it was thrilling. <laughs> I mean, there's something really viscerally satisfying about taking a shovel and just digging up a grave. These days, the Woodlands is buzzing again with people at work and at play, much like it would have been in the mid-1800s when the cemetery became a popular escape from the noise and pollution of city living. This type of cemetery is the earliest form of public park. So this is a place people would come. You actually had to have a ticket to get in the gates on the weekend because it was so crowded with you visitors. Get, you needed a ticket here? You needed a ticket because so many people were coming here. Back then, the Woodlands was considered revolutionary, a so-called rural cemetery enclosed by trees on the edge of town instead of urban graveyards crowded by buildings near its center. Such cemeteries, like Greenwood in Brooklyn, are once again attracting crowds and offering a valuable change in perspective. I would imagine that a, that a college term paper would seem like small potatoes if you spend your afternoon in a cemetery. Yeah, or like medium potatoes, yeah. <laughs> like, try to balance it all, for sure. Mm -hmm. Maya Arthur is a senior at the University of Pennsylvania. And like other Woodlands volunteers, she finds two to four hours a week for her garden. A commitment that began with mandatory workshops, including Victorian horticulture, so every plant in the woodlands is true to the era. It is really cool coming here like after class and like watering and just being like, kind of like you put your hands on your hips and you're like, I did that. <laughs> it's really nice. So this is the path you walked down with your son? Oh, yes. For Elizabeth Womack, the most rewarding part of grave gardening isn't really the gardening at all. He especially likes uh, that gravestone that's tipped over a little bit. He likes to run his cars down it. You see, she often comes here with her three-year-old son, whose birth brought joy, but also fear. I was terrified that something was going to happen to him, and it was crippling. But it turns out when you garden in an old cemetery, you tend to more than just flowers. What I noticed as I started planting there is that it was allowing me to confront things that scared me and to nurture this external garden while I nurtured myself. Even for grave gardeners, 
There's a lot of life in the soil.